In these problems, we're dealing with number lines. But this number line is maybe a little bit different than what you've seen before. Here's 9, here's 10, and there's all these uh, hash marks in between. When you look at a number line or a ruler or anything like that, it's good to know what these small marks represent. How, how much distance is that? So what I like to do is count. If, there, if I've got 9 and 10, two integers that are just one apart, I can count the number of hash marks in between there and figure out what they are. Are they, If there were just you know, 1, 2, that would be halves. If there were 4 in here, there would be fourths and so forth. So let's count these. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Brings me all the way up to 10. So there are 10 in one space here. So these are tenths. Now it says which letter represents 10.3? Well, this is the tenths space, and there's three of them. So I'm going to find 10, which is right here, and then I need three more tenths, and that's three of these little hash marks. So one, two, three brings me to C. Now, if you're seeing a number line like this, it's always good to count the hash marks just to make sure. In these problems, they're all going to be 10 because this is really a decimal number line, as they call it. I suppose you could put 100 in between here, and then we could go down to the hundredths, but that would be kind of crazy looking. So these are all going to be tenths. The question here says, which decimal is represented by the point H on the number line? Well, H is right here, and it's just a little bit past 2. It's not up to 3, so it's going to be 2 point something. And then I count the number of hash marks after 2, and it's just 1, so that's 1 tenth, or 2.1. All right, last one. This one says, to which decimal number is the arrow pointing? Well, it's somewhere between 8 and 9, so it's going to be 8 point something. And then we've got to count the hash marks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that's the ninth hash mark. I probably could have figured that out by counting backwards from the 9 here. There's just one away. So I know this is going to be 8.9. So that's a little bit of work with the decimal number line.